Hello, Mark Ridingham here with Good Supply Designs. Um, I wanted to go over with you um, a client of mine having an issue with um, images not staying together for cutting. So I just wanted to go over this with you really quick. Um, I'm going to pull in the image that she's having issues with, which is this one. Okay. Once this gets pulled in, you can resize it to the size that you would like um, by clicking on this little arrow here or going up here at the top and um, changing the size up here. Now, if you happen to open any of my images and you don't see them, let's say they're way down over here and you don't see anything, you can always come up here to the position, type in zero, and it will come over there and zero here. Enter, it'll go up to the top. So that's a quick way to find the image and to line it up to the top. Okay, so once you have your image sized and you want to cut this in layers by color, okay, look over here on the right hand panel and you'll see that it is grouped and it is grouped by color. Okay, the first thing you want to do is if you don't want the white here, you want to put it on something that's going to just show the words through, or if you are going to print the white, that's fine. But in this case, I'm going to show you how to do it and take the white out. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on the image, make sure it's selected, come up to the top and hit ungroup. Okay, now everything is ungrouped. So if I was to take this little white thing here, there's my word, my letters, I'm mean, sorry. We're going to put that right back. Okay. A real quick note since I'm here, I'm going to go over something else with you just really quick. Let's say you have this image and you want to take out some of these letters. I don't know why you would do that in this image, but let's just say you did. Once you have this selected, if you come over here and hit ungroup again, now they're going to be individually grouped. So I can move this A, I can move the L, this one. So if you ungroup twice, you get more flexibility with the design that you're wanting to make. But we're going to put all this right back and group them back together. This should be okay. Now we're not going to worry about printing the white, so what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the top, scroll up, and this little eye icon here, if you turn that off, then you've turned off all the letters. So you can just minimize that and get them out of the way. Okay, so now we have our design and we have how we want to print it. So if I was to just click on the design now, I'm sorry, click off, and go to make it, this is what's going to happen. Okay, see how you have your black line here, then you have another one down here, and the SF is over here. And if you look at this red part, you're going to see all these little dots here, which are the fill-in for these letters. That's what that is. So to stop all of this from happening, we're going to cancel out of here. We're going to go back to our image. So over here on the right-hand side, you're going to click on the header for the colored images that are listed here. Okay. So once you have that selected, you're going to right-click on it, or you can hit the weld down here at the bottom. But I always right-click, and then I go to weld. Okay. So now the red is all together. So if I wanted to go print this like this, I mean cut it like this, I would go back up to make it. And now when we go over to the red, you're going to see everything is formed the way it should be. There's no little pieces over here. So it will cut exactly like this. Okay? So we're going to go back and we're going to do the same thing to the goal. So we're going to right click and weld. And the black, we're going to do the same thing. Click on the black header, right click, weld. Okay, now we go up to make it. And there you see everything is um, uniform together. So when you go and cut it, it will be uniform together. You can just weed out the, the extra that you don't need and place it with the other color vinyl. Then we're going to look at the gold. The gold is exactly, exactly the same way. 
and here's the red. Okay. I hope this tutorial helped you. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach back out to me. I am going to state that I am a graphic designer. I am not a crafter. I have to open up Cricut and learn how to do these things um, to show you. Feel free to look on YouTube. That's how I learned to do these things is by typing in YouTube how to do this, how to do that, and I get numerous videos that will show me how to do these issues that you guys are having. Fix these issues, I'm sorry, that you guys are having. Um, I don't really, I have the Cricut program specifically to make these videos. I am not a crafter, and I apologize for that, but I am willing to help any way that I can. So with that being said, thank you guys for all of your support on my site. I greatly appreciate it. God bless and have a good day. Thank you for purchasing from Fix It by Design.